A closed Jenny Craig caught customer Anna DeBiase off guard. Still, she's not surprised. It seemed like uh, customer service was lacking, and I just had the feeling that something was happening. Jenny Craig has shut down all 500 locations in the U.S. and Canada and filed for bankruptcy. The Canadian weight loss service industry generated more than $350 million in revenue last year, up 5% from 2021. My net diary displays results as you type. But the market is getting crowded with competitors like free do-it-yourself diet apps. Today, consumers, they can find for free information on how to design their own uh, dieting plan. Another disruptor? Diabetes drugs like Ozempic and Mount Gero, which are known as an effective treatment for obesity by stimulating weight loss. This new class of drugs out there is really having a big impact uh, and, and, and could potentially have a big impact going forward over the next couple of years on the behavioral approach to weight loss. It's uh, easy to use. At risk for diabetes, DeBiase has been prescribed Ozempic. She believes the drug's growing popularity may have caused Jenny Craig to lose some business. It's a better option, I think. You feel like you need to eat less because you can't eat a full meal, which is good. Starting is easy. Weight loss chain Weight Watchers has been suffering from declining revenue and membership numbers. But its stock recently soared after the company bought Sequence, a telehealth provider that can prescribe drugs like Ozempic. Weight loss app Noom is piloting a similar program. This obesity expert has received funding from Ozempic's owner. He says it and similar drugs are effective for fighting obesity, but warns it's not a quick fix solution. It's for people who meet the medical criteria for its use. Uh, certainly, I think people who go on medications for any chronic condition should expect to be on them long term. Weight Watchers and Noom say drugs aren't appropriate for all clients, as there's no one-size-fits-all solution to weight loss. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.